Okay, so hi everyone. So just checking in. Today is uh, day seven since the procedure. So I had it done Friday and today is Thursday, but it's technically not even six full 24 hour periods um, since the surgery. So calendar day seven, but uh, six days from the actual finish time of the procedure. And I just wanted to check in so I can give people an update on how I'm doing. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen the other, other videos, you should watch them. I'm trying to do a, a series that tells you everything that no one else tells you about having a facelift. Um, I did a ton of research and I really just couldn't find anyone who could explain to me what to expect what it might feel like and I'm sure it's different for everyone so I'm just trying to give people my experience um, so for those of you who don't haven't watched the other videos I had a deep plane deep plane extended uh, procedure I had a neck lift I had a temporal brow lift that's where they lift the corners of your brows and I had fat transfer to my temples and various other places in my face. I had a lip lift, a bullhorn lip lift. And so I just am explaining to people what I've been going through, what the healing process has been like. And if I haven't mentioned it in other videos, it's been very touch and go. So the first, immediately after the procedure, I was like, wow, this is, I don't feel a thing. Um, probably 12 hours after I was crying because I was in so much pain. And uh, I'm not taking any narcotics. I've been doing this with uh, extra strength Tylenol. And then on day four, I begged the doctor to let me start taking ibuprofen because that's really the painkiller of choice for me. I, I'm not usually a uh, Tylenol kind of gal, but it did work. Um, they're, they're both equal in terms of controlling the pain. So if you like Tylenol better than just do the Tylenol, I think it's harder. Um, if you can start mixing them, it's good. Cause when your Tylenol starts wearing off, like you can take your Tylenol and then three hours later, take some ibuprofen. And so you have continuous coverage without exceeding the recommended dosage for either product in a 24 hour period. So anyway, um, it's been kind of a roller coaster. You know, there are days, there were days where I thought, oh, wow, I've turned the corner and I'm not going to have any more pain. And then the next day I got slammed with pain. And so I think as different areas of the face start to come alive again, because right now I'm extremely numb. My scalp is numb. My face is numb. My neck is not really numb anymore, but under here it's like, extremely tight so it it feels like not like a sore throat because your your throat's not swollen but it feels like your glands are just monstrous and they're just squeezing you like someone's got a vice grip under your chin so excuse me so anyway probably i would say now since day four things have been very controllable i my pain was so bad initially i was getting nausea from the pain and then it was a vicious cycle of nausea vomiting and more pain so um for me uh the most painful part of this whole procedure was the temporal brow lift and that just killed me because i didn't realize how these muscles are so powerful and they were going into spasm and that was causing me to have nausea which would then cause me to vomit so if you need to take the narcotic if you're having that procedure done you know do whatever you have to do to stay comfortable. Narcotics don't work for me because they make me loopy and they make me dizzy and I'd rather have pain than feel dizzy. So anyway, today um, has been pretty good. Now I'm able to like take Advil maybe every eight hours instead of every six. I still try to stay pretty close to the six though because you know, I don't want to get, I don't want the pain to get away from me. But, uh, you know, pain wise, I'm doing much better. The, this part, I'm not, I don't, I don't have the throbbing anymore. I don't have as much pressure in this bridge area here. And, um, so on that front, it's good. Um, I did have a, 
a minor complication and I've been having to do hyperbaric chamber treatments. I've now done uh, Tuesday, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today will be my fourth treatment and that's to stimulate with oxygen, pure oxygen, more oxygenated blood to this area so that it can um, make this these couple black spots fade and turn more purple because you want to make sure that your bruises are purple because that means you still have blood flow. Um, this side of my face, ironically, like I don't have any of the black bruising, but my ear is incredibly swollen. And this whole side of my face, which is my left side, is really swollen much more than this side. And what's crazy about the hyperbaric chamber treatments is that after you have them, you can literally feel the healing taking place. Like my skin feels tighter and it's almost like it's squeezing the inflammation out of your body. Honestly, if I hadn't gone through these treatments and somebody told me how they worked, I would say it was total BS. But after the first treatment, I, I felt like a million bucks. And each time I have a treatment, I feel like it's helping to speed the healing process along. You know, and I was actually surprised that I even needed them because I work out all the time. I'm a, like, a, you know, I eat very healthfully. So I was actually really shocked that my body was taking such a long time to heal this. But, you know, for whatever reason, it is what it is. And these hyperbaric chamber treatments are really helping me. So if you have this procedure done and your healing isn't going the way you want it to, I would totally recommend doing these treatments. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but well worth it if it'll help you move along. So right now I have a couple areas of concern. You know, I, I'm a little bit concerned that this side of my face is so swollen and um, I can't really see the results of my bullhorn lip lift yet because there's so much swelling in the lip. You can't see it. But my lip is really thick and the surgeon keeps assuring me that as this normalizes, you know, the ends will curl up. So I'm really hoping that is the case because uh, otherwise I'll be terribly disappointed. Not that my lips are bad, because they're not, but I really had hoped to get a little bit more flip out of them. Um, I had a really long filtrum. So from here to here, you know, with age, I think mine was like 21 centimeters. And realistically, you really only want like 15. So I think he had to remove like six centimeters from mine. So it's quite a quite a large um, area that he had to remove and tighten. So other than that, I mean, right now, um, I'm pretty happy with the way the results are looking. Of course, I have a long way to go. I still have a lot of bruising and a lot of swelling, so I won't actually know how good the results are probably for at least another two to three weeks. And um, I will check in again tomorrow and let you know how it goes.